Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is the Electro Sports Association Football League. And Bulldozer Power. Yeah, we're going to we'll play some football of this kind. Uh, I've set up, uh, the, I've, I've hijacked the, uh, the English 4th Division. And there will be a few teams in there that you've possibly heard of before. And I'm taking over Bulldozer Power. I've rigged the team... So that uh, I mean the players, you won't you won't have heard of the players in the slightest. Uh, but I've rigged the team so that it's got quite the uphill battle uh, to take care of. And the question is, can we turn around this minnow of a team and turn it into a European powerhouse? Okay, so as ever, taking over a team, and um, we are we get to we get to decide what our budget is going to be based on the position in the table that we think we're going to reach. Are we going to reach position number one? No. Uh, two, three, four. Uh, let's let's say four. But I'll be happy if we manage to stay in this division. Uh, obviously, if we get relegated out of professional football, that's that's a small problem that we're going to have to then deal with. Uh, can I? Oh, can I flip? Can I change that? No, I can't change the budget. No, you can't. No, you ain't. You have a certain number of negotiation points that you can use based on your negotiation skill. Mine is currently bobbins. Uh, so that's a that's another challenge that we get to we get to play with there. Um, that's that's all fine, right? But please set the rules that will apply to my ownership of the team. Uh, now, in terms of team, does the age matter? Yeah, I'm a I'm a young. Uh, we're a youth player development unit outfit kind of a deal, largely because that's where I'm hoping to get most of my money from. Uh, you know, uh, in terms of form. Well, training is only one fact. Anyone who wants, who can uh, show me in training that they want to play will do. It's a lie. I'm going to use the best players all the time. Uh, rotation. Everyone gets a chance. That's fine. Long-term development. That's what we want. Long-term development. And we play attacking football because there's no other way. I mean, football at the best times can be a little bit... Uh, what's the word I'm after? Boring. Uh, and therefore, we're going to attack quite a lot. In the transfer market, one player from each youth group age group has to make it. No, no, no. We'll only sign players I can sell for a profit. No, we'll only sign. No, I'm not. I'm not signing up to any of those those nonsensical statements. We'll we'll take what we've got. Here's the squad. Okay, right. What do we got? Uh, the way that the squad, the rating system works. Obviously, it's broken down into individual stats. Uh, but it goes bronze up to five stars, then silver over the top up to five stars, and then gold over the top of that up to five stars. We've got a few one-star silver players, which for the fourth division, that's that's not too bad. No, we can we can make a go of this, he says. Uh, no, take whatever shirt numbers you've got. I'm I'm. It's too soon for me to be able to decide. You know what's a what's a good plan and what isn't. Um, right. Now, I've got additional boosts that I can apply. I get to apply uh, four of those until I earn more boost points. Um, but you can only do one per week. So I'm just going to hang on to them for the moment. Um, just until I've got a better feel for uh, for exactly what I want to do. Uh, let's go to the... Uh, my, my personal goal this week is going to be finance and sponsors. We're going to need some money. Um, one of the reasons that I like this game... And I've played a few hours of it to get a feel for it. I've, I've played like half a season, something like that. Uh, is it leads you by the hand through your weekly kind of to-do list. So I've got a. I've, here's my my home office, and as you can see, there is an absolute stack load of information being provided on here. I'll call out the important stuff, but if you want to pause and just generally poke around, then then that's that's up to you. Uh, our next match is in 48 days and we're playing Grazer Ridge. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll play then because we don't have a choice. Uh, but we want to get in uh, a couple of pre-season games before then. Uh, let's have a quick look at the first team. Here they are. I'm going to worry about tactics for the next... No, nah, maybe I shouldn't. Let's do the tactics now. Uh, general, general tactics. Offensive football with short passes. Eh, maybe. All out attack. That's that's the stuff. You can slide this into into your your strategic plan, and it only lets me go as far as neutral right now, because I want to play offensive football with short passes. Uh, we could go direct offensive football, which like takes a lot of effort but not as much skill. I think you might be talking my language there. Yeah, yeah. Not having to rely on so much passing. 
I'm I'm definitely definitely into that. Uh, right, pressing we'll do uh, occasionally. There we go. Counter pressing will be the same. Yeah, that's no, very boring. Uh, short corners. No, we want to uh, we want to we, we want to stick with a long corner. I think so. We'll we'll just keep that short. And then corners in front of the box. Yes, love it. All of that business. That'll be great. Uh, training. Uh, well, your counter attacks, I think, are going to come into uh, an awful lot of help. Um, yeah, I want any time you've got the ball and you can see the goal, kick it. That will help, and, and a bit of dribbling as well. And then we'll we'll nudge these up that way. Now those just balance out against each other, so it's not a problem. And no, the assistant manager does not manage the tactics because he doesn't know anything about anything about anything. Uh, right, let's rebalance. This is the areas of attack. You see. And, uh, and we're going to go up the middle because my ideal would be to play a four-five-one uh, with a with an attacking midfielder being my most pivotable pivotable player, pivotable yeah player. Right. Okay. Let's get uh, into the lineup. Right. Who have we got? Right, Bernard, you're my guy. Now we've got a couple of left attack. Yeah, yeah. I, we might. You know what? I don't hate this formation. Okay, what are we what are we talking about here? Well, this is a three four three, which is wacky, of, of sorts, um, but it suits the lineup that I've got. This is the entire squad, incidentally, no reserves, none of that kind of business. No, 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 we don't believe in that. Uh, Julian, you can go in goal, mate. Uh, there we go. That's it. You're because you're a better goalkeeper. Who else have we got on the bench? We've got uh, Brandema. Brandema, how do you compare to? Uh, uh, Eamon Duncan. No, no, Eamon's, Eamon's got it at the moment. It's fine. Everybody's going to get a go because you're all going to get broken and sent off and all of that kind of business. It's it's all fine. Uh, we are slightly stronger than Grazer Ridge, who've got a badge that really doesn't doesn't match up with what they look like. Just get over it. I've got some breakdancing dude on mine for, for reasons. Sure, yeah. No, we'll keep it. We'll We'll run with that. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk to uh, the, the the current reserve team. There's that. Okay, yep. Let's go and talk to the youth team. Uh, we will go and watch them play. At the moment, the youth team is full of rubbish. So, uh, so what? This is this is how your your main element of gameplay works. Here is we'll go right. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll 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 rock up on Monday and watch the youth team uh, under 19s do their training. If we go down here, we've got the under 17s, and uh, and we'll watch them do their training as well. Any anyone really shining at the moment? This 12-year-old central defender could be a goer. Yeah, maybe, maybe. There's not much I can do about it at this stage. Uh, we'll go and watch that training session as well because it it buoys their uh, their confidence in life and, and and all of the things that mean stuff to anybody. What do I want them to focus on? I think we will go for uh, technical skills. Punch it up. Yeah, there you go. The under 17s will go for uh, we'll go for five points in tech skills. Yeah. What about these guys? Fitness and fighting. I don't know how much. I imagine that's fighting for the ball rather than you know have a scrap. Um, we can we can set up a boarding school when I've got one, uh, which I currently don't. So uh, so we'll worry about that later. Right, on to uh, injury department. Not interested. Uh, transfers. Go back to the squad. What do we need? You're not going to get better than a than a 5.5. Not in the fourth division. Not without spending everything in one hit. Uh, even even in terms of prospects, uh, it's going to be it's going to be tricky to accomplish. Um, this skill, but stuff down here is like you know, great at throwouts and anticipation. Uh, this uh, this striker chap has got he's got a good he's got he's good good at, at uh, overview, but ball winning and long passes, total rubbish. Uh, that's Kareem Gordon, who's my striker at the moment. No, you're not Kareem. Kareem, go and, go and sit down. There you go. You're no good at any of that, Kareem. There, uh, you know, get knotted. Uh, we'll we'll start out with Bran here. He's 29. In fact, I haven't got that many players under the age of 23. So a, a young player might be a might be a good idea. Right wing back's a load of old tosh. Uh, oh no, I'm playing a right wing back at right midfield. I need a midfielder. At least one. 
although you could play, play Eamon at right midfield. It, he'll be slightly out of position, but he'll be okay with that. I think we need a like a utility midfielder. Okay, all right. Well, let's go. Let's go looking for one. Um, right, scout players. Now I've got the scouting side of things simplified purely to keep things moving. I can't be. I can't be doing with uh, with running around too much. Max age of twenty three, please. Uh, position, right midfield. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, what? Oh, any? No, I don't care about division, and I don't care about country. I'm, I'm not buying one from someone in my own zone. All right. So we've got Franklin Santiago, who is a three stars goal player. He's sixty million quid. Now it's a little bit just outside my budget. That one. Uh, let's go a minimum level of, uh, of five stars and a maximum level of silver one, maybe silver two. I don't think we'll get a silver two, but you never know. All right, eight hundred grand. Now, if they're not looking to sell him, that 800 grand market value there, they're going to ramp that up significantly. So how about we sort by market value? Let's look at the cheap end. 240 grand for a five-starer. What's, uh, what's his trouble making here? He's, he's got rubbish stamina and rubbish tackling. Well, I'm not hiring him then. Uh, what about you, this fella? His marking's good, but his ball command's bobbins. Yes. But he is 19. Yes, and he has he has a little a little talent star in his forehead, which means he has potential later in life. Unlike this dude, who has massive potential, but he's totally rubbish at short passes, and he hasn't got a good idea of how to look at the at the field. Guzzi Zarafa, yeah, we could. I I might have a punt because he's got such great potential. But what about this this young buck down here? Yeah. You know, Ogazan uh, Avci uh, out of Turkey. There, he, I think he could work. He could work for us, and he's not as expensive. Let's have a uh, let's go talk to him. Uh, he doesn't uh, really want to. They don't want to let him go at the moment, but they will if the price is right. And the price is going to be significant. So there we go. I've, I've finished booking up Monday. We'll just have a look at that fella for the time being. Oh, does he play in any any other positions? We should probably have a little bit more of a look. He's also a defensive midfielder. Yeah, yeah, well, you, yeah you, you never know. All right, next up, uh, the organisation. Yeah, so uh, we should organise a training camp. Where are we? 6th of, J of July at the moment. Uh, let's let's go at the weekend. Or rather, let's set the organisation up at the weekend. Accommodation and match travel, keep it cheap for now. Upcoming friendlies, we do need an upcoming friendly. Uh, let's organise a friendly there. Let's organise another one straight after it. That's not when they're going to be played. That's when I'm going to have the phone calls with the necessary people. Um, I'm not ready to do my season opener yet. It's a big party that we throw for the fans. Let's go to HR. Don't need any of this business at the moment. I've got a decent youth team coordinator. That will do me for now. On to the stadium. Right, here is the Dozer Dome, such as it exists at the moment. And you might notice it does not, in fact, have a dome. In fact, it does not actually have any seats. It is standing only, and it's raining. That's going to be a that's going to be a carnival atmosphere. That one. Right. Okay. So that's that's good. Um, ish. Yeah, we do, we're in Ipswich. Just so you know, uh, we haven't replaced Ipswich. I just decided to stick it in Ipswich because uh, I felt like it. Now, if I want to build more stuff, I press that button there, and we do stuff. That's cool. Uh, Capacity is eight and a half thousand. If we sell out the full stand, uh, this full stadium, it's one hundred and seventeen grand. That's fine. Uh, let us sell the naming rights to the stadium. So we're going to have a meeting on that. Uh, then the main stand, we can't sell that at the moment. No, no. Why not? Oh, we've sold it to a consulting company. Fine. Uh, the opposite stand, we're going to sell the naming rights to that. All of this brings in money, so we're going to do all of it. This is more about general management of a team than it is being the... It's almost owner-operator. Um, what about the opposite stand? Didn't you already press that button? I did. All right, we'll go to the next one then. Left main stand, yeah, we'll sell the rights to that. And the right main stand, yeah, I'll sell the rights to that as well, because that's the fun stuff. At the moment, we've got poles in the stadium for our flood lighting. We'll keep that. And we've got a small LED wall in the corner. I'm only going to improve that if we end up scoring loads of goals. 
because then then that'll be that'll be good uh next up i can build more stuff for the club grounds here are our club grounds there's a practice field uh then you've got kind of a headquarters sort of deal and that's pretty much it tons of room to expand into it looks just like ipswich um but uh, at the moment it's it's a load of rubbish what i would like is uh, is better youth team facilities and i am prepared to pay money for that um so uh, training pitch yeah hold on what we got here fan shop yes now that will bring in extra cash but it, it, there is no way it is going to recoup 800 grand no no it's it just isn't okay all right this is decoratives in order to make the place look nice don't really care about any of that i just want i want my youth team to be you know great football tennis court yeah it's not exactly what i had in mind maybe a high-tech uh, training center for a million and a half that would be super you know what i think we're gonna do what leave it for now because we're skinned oh i like it okay then we've got a pitch hardness uh i should have maybe i missed it oh no it's here here we go uh sponsors so we've got uh, running until 2021 so they're, they're, for this year m a machine and plant com uh, company they're paying us 2.2 .2 million a year really i'll take it where's the money you peasants um we've also got uh, uh the supplying uh, the, the, our sponsorship supply for uh, for materiel and and goods is a marketing advertising and pr company and they're doing us a million and a half and our sleeve sponsor is 550 grand so we get to renegotiate those before the end of the year which is smashing and i can now place some ad boards i've got eight available you chaps are going to do us 255 grand over two boards i think i'm going to book machines and plants who only want one board i'm prepared to wait so let's negotiate with those clowns yeah that's good okay yeah right yeah yes okay do you want to book another meeting with any of these people? No, nope. no. Nope. We'll wait and see if we can't get some more money. Uh, and then there's my my revenue from TV and all of that kind of business. Uh, then we're into finances. Lights green, traps clean. That's that's all good. Oh, so ticket prices. I've got a meeting on that and they're coming up. And then uh, marketing, which is uh, selling our, our shirts and, and merch, I believe people call it. I can change the prices on these. I believe. Actually, I don't think we've got a club shop at the moment. No, we should get one. We should get a club shop. Yeah. All right, well, let's leave that for now. Uh, I could invest 30 grand in uh, in developing an app. I mean, what, what football fan doesn't want an app? That could be majestic. No, let's leave it for now. Here's the board. We don't need to talk about them. No, nah, that's fine. It's okay. No, no, no fourth position you're dreaming uh and then finally the fan club uh we shall go and meet the fan club this week yep there you go uh in fact i want to do that on thursday if it's all the same to you if in fact let's move the stadium span sponsor to friday let's put our transfer negotiation in on thursday as well i don't want to run myself ragged i've got 28 out of 37 hours planned after which you could still take more meetings but you're just going to get more and more you know rubbish at it Okay, there's our, our mascot, Bully the Bulldozer. Hey, Bully the Bulldozer. Yeah, 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 all of that business. Um, do I want to go and work with children? No. All right, we won't then. So there we go. That's all of that, all set and good to go. Uh, my suggestions coming in, I could organise a charity event. No. Nah. I could do some sport. Well, I've got to keep myself in shape. Yeah, I'll go and, uh, I'll go and do some curling down at the local ice rink. That'll be that'll be great right crack on okay here's the training planning and to say that there is a lot to, to uh to in options there there is a lot in options for now i'm prepared to leave this up to my coaches to decide and we'll let that just roll the way it is loads of stuff going on in there um but i'm i'm comfortable with it and so now we start running through there's my first meeting uh let's set the ticket prices the little smiley face says how much the fans are willing to uh, tolerate. I'd quite like them to tolerate a little bit more. There you go. No, tolerate 15 quid a, a ticket and that'll be great. There's nowhere to sit. There's no VIP boxes. It's all great. All right, that was easy. Easy meeting. We've gone to the youth team training just to have a look at it. 
and they're excited to see me watching their training because obviously I'm a I'm a big deal and they're they're very much into that. Totally, totally into it. Yeah. And the under under seventeens, they're just as just as thrilled. So that's us through Monday. Here's the cup draw. Yeah, skip it. Yeah, just just get to the point where you've told me who I'm playing. Are you going to highlight me in this list? No, where are we? We should be in there. I am a team, after all. Uh, BDP. It will come up in my uh, in my to do list at some point. Hold on. I should be able to. I should be able to identify my own team's name in the list. Maybe we've got a buy. Oh well, whatever. Uh, do I want to watch all the cup draws in the season? No, not really. Uh, there we go. Right, organizer friendly. We can choose who we want to play against. Do we want to play? Let's start with someone challenging. We'll play at home. Uh, they're going to charge us 20k for the privilege of doing so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a home game against Burton on Trent. Uh, 8th of July. Yeah, that's it. Where are we now? The 7th of July. I see. That's possibly a little bit too soon. Uh, can I bump you to next week? We'll, we'll take on Wimbledon. We'll play Wimbledon next week. That'll be good. Yeah, nice one. Lovely job. Right, there we go. Uh, Kiki Harper has uh, has hosted an evening event for the newly signed players. Oh, hello. What's going on now? I'll organise another friendly. What about Sunderland or Swindon? That would be the same week. Uh, let's do the Saturday game. There you go. Perfect. And we'll we'll go on the road for that one. Thank you. Super. Right. Okay. Sponsor negotiation. A tax and consultation, uh, tax consultancy and auditing company. They want to sponsor us until 2027. Dream on. Uh, and they're going to pay us 800 grand a year. I'm very much hoping we won't be in this division by then. So I think you can get absolutely knotted for 2027. Now, every time I... I change anything here. It changes the, one of these ticks over there. Now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I've got eight negotiation points and four rounds of negotiating. Uh, so every time I make a tweak, I'll take until 2020. Uh, yeah, 2024, and I want more money. All right? How do you feel about that? Okay. They're quite happy to sign up. For 2024, okay, but they're not thrilled about more money. Yeah, I'm gonna take it even further. Come on, pay up. There you go. They're settled. They've settled on that. It's not a lot of money, but I'll sign it. I'll take the cash. Yeah, I'm gonna regret that later. I don't. That's that's how I handle negotiations. You go in and you say like, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's close enough. All right, we go. We've got a new uh, sponsor for a new stand name. And it's a services company. Uh, okay. They want to go till 2029 and pay 50 grand a year. I may have to walk away from the table here. How about we pull that in? Two, three, four. 2025. No, I'm going to go one more. In fact, I'm going to go two more. They go, I'll take 50 grand a year, but we'll do it for a couple of years, not flipping ages. They're happy with that. Oh, crumbs. Let's see if I can squeeze a little bit more out of them. No, no, they've settled. Oh, oh well. Guess we're not. I, I mean, admittedly, our uh, our stadium's rubbish, so that's rather to be expected. This is a high risk. Uh, it's a high risk with high bonuses and low fixed amounts. Yeah, right. Let's crank that into twenty twenty four as well. There you go. Negotiate. What do you? Oh, hold on. Let's bump that one. What do you think? Yep, they're up for it. Okay, thanks then. We'll see how it goes. Uh, that, frankly, at the moment, if anybody wants to, to sign up for me, then uh, then I'll take it. Right, we're selling one ad board uh, to a consulting... Oh, no, no, they want four of them. Okay, where are the... Where's the idiots who want to pay me higher per board? 220 for two boards, a telecommunications company. Until 2022. Can I not pull that in? Nope. Okay. All right. Let's 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 try and squeak them for a little bit more cash. Uh, four. There you go. 260. Go on. You can, you can do 260, lads. Oh, they can. Okay. Uh, good. Yeah. No, thanks. No, no, no. I'll take that. Yeah, all right. Go on. No, no. You went, you went straight for what I asked for, and therefore it's good. The reason I only go halfway on my negotiation 
is uh, 20% discount on season tickets. Get knotted. There you go. You can have a 18% discount and you'll like it. Um, I only go halfway because that allows me to then renegotiate it back to exactly where they want to be. Right. Oh, we're, we're talking about Felony Lad already. Yeah. And they only want 550 grand. Okay. Okay. They don't want a share of any resale. Obviously, he's rubbish. Either way, this is a this is a good deal. Um, right, they want five hundred and fifty large. I'm going to offer them. Oh, a shake under that. Let's go four seventy. What do you think about four seventy? They're going five hundred. Right, I've got to show a little bit of willing here. Four eighty. Five hundred. Four ninety. Yep, there you go. Done. New player. I've done my due diligence on him in that he looked like he might be a player who might possibly be any good. Uh, he's going to be a first team player. Yeah, we'll have to. Uh, he he likes all of these. He wants a hundred grand up front and forty six k a year. All right, let's drop that to forty four k and uh, and let's see if I can't squeeze him on his uh, on his signing fee a little bit. There you go. Yeah, try. Ooh, that's a bit much. You can't change it back, not now. Uh, you know, offer it. Let's see what he thinks. He's into it. Well, that was easy. I could have been more aggressive, but I've got to leave the negotiation points available in case I have to uh, have to counter offer and stuff. Right, you're in. Give him a number. Eighteen. You've got it. Well done, son. Welcome to the welcome to the clubhouse. Uh, and I've received an offer for a sponsor for a new name and another thing with Twenty twenty four. We're not going any further than that, and I want more money from you. All right, negotiate. They're doing it. Okay, fine. Cool. This this is it. I'd, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this uh, this introductory episode up at the end of the week, and uh, and then next time around we'll be doing something a lot more exciting. Set up a training camp. Where do I want to go? Well, I want a good training camp, but I don't want one that's going to cost me everything under the sun. Three grand to go to uh, Garmisch Partenkirchen. I can't see the lads getting too thrilled about that one. How about this? What about Grass Grass Owl? It's expensive. Yeah, but you want them to learn anything, it's going to have to be. The weather's nice here in uh, Norderney. Stuff that. What about, what about Portugal? What can they do us? Not much on the way of luxury, but the weather's nice and the training's good. Yeah, all right, let's go. Uh, let's go three days and then we'll begin it on uh, Saturday the 18th. Friday, no, no, Wednesday the 15th for three days. Go on, make it so. Okay, yeah. And then we've got a, we're playing Wimbledon, then we're going on holiday. Yes. And then uh, we've got to play, that's not going to work. No. Let's stick that there. Yeah. Can I move? No, you can't shift that. I see. Okay. We'll leave it. I'm sure it'll work out. I'm sure it'll be fine. No, no, no. It'll be good. The, the fan club are thrilled that I went to see them. Ah, as well they should be. I'm a I'm a, a marvel. Right, we've got a new dude. Let's get him in the lineup. And uh, and then we end up with our with our training progress. Energy at 58. That's okay. That's not too bad, actually. You might go, like, surely that should be up near the 90s. And you go, no, 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 it's okay. 58 is okay. 83 stamina. Yeah. Who's close to popping? Uh, Avchi. He's not far off. Well, it, he's halfway. Yeah. Okay. They've all got a long way to go. They really do. Okay. Well, that's, that's one of those things. Right, and then we're round to the start of the week. On the fifteenth, we're playing uh, we're playing Wimbledon, and then on the eighteenth, we're playing Sunderland. We'll get to those games in the next episode. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in to this inaugural uh, career start for Bulldozer Power. How will the team evolve? Have I made bad decisions already? The answer to both is yes. But the first question was a how. The answer is still yes. Thanks very much for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And, uh, and I'll catch up with you next time. Cheerio.